schedule it starting. Thank you very much indeed. Welcome back to Countdown, uh, the show which yesterday revealed the exclusive news that Carol Vorderman is expecting a happy event in the near future. Uh, how long is it, Carol? Is it about, what, 831 days? <laughs> <laughs> no, it is not. And why have you got that jacket on? Because I said Inflicting I would wear it. I it can still get into it. In a week. You can't get into it. I can still get into it. Oh, well, you obviously took it from my dressing room, Richard. Well, you know, our dressing rooms are next door to each other, yes. actually. Uh, they are. Did you know there's a hole between my dressing room and yours? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, you knew that? Well, I did. I was going to complain. I, I was a bit embarrassed. I was going to complain to maintenance here at the studios, but I thought, well, to hell with it. Let her look. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, who are you going to look at? You're going to look at two real Supremes for the next half hour. Will you please welcome Jackie McLeod and Joyce Cansfield? <laughs> Well, Joyce, uh, welcome returning, Joyce. You know by now that uh, we have special feeling for Joyce because our first ever champion, uh, but uh, she was in great form. She's the crossword compiler from uh, Otley. She does 48 crosswords a year for a very top newspaper and uh, does a lot of others as well, just uh, doing them, but compiles 48. Joyce uh, proved that she had lost none of her touch since she first appeared in 1982. She returned on Monday to defeat Stephen Balmont by 57 points to 48. Her record now is... Five wins, one draw, and two defeats, actually. So welcome back to you, Joyce Cansfield. <laughs> and our other finalist is Jackie McLeod from Highgate. Now, she won a really nail-biting semi-final with Clive Spate yesterday by getting the conundrum to win by 49 points to 46. Now, Jackie was originally the runner-up in Series 21 back in 1991, and her record now stands at seven wins out of ten. So good luck to you. Jackie McLeod. Uh, last time out, our G of the D was a marvellous form, a command performance, in fact, with a terrific eight-letter winning word, thespian. Thespian. Well, we couldn't draw the curtains on him after that one, so he's back centre stage with his co-star, Susie Dent. Please welcome Barry Cryer. Thank you. I always tell everybody you're one of my oldest friends, Richard. How very I've touching. got friends I've known longer, but you're one of the oldest. <laughs> <laughs> long, may, long may it last, but long may it survive these few days. Um, right, Jackie and Joyce, just to remind you, this is the final of this group, of course, um, and so one of these two will go through into the grand final for our Supreme Championship in December. So let battle commence. Jackie, over to you. Constant, please, Carol. Thank you, Jackie. We begin then with T. And another one. F. And a consonant. Another consonant. T. And a vowel, please. I. And another vowel. E. And another vowel, please. I. And a consonant. <laughs> F. Oh, heck. A sense of deja vu here. <laughs> I think um, so. And a consonant, please. V. Oh dear. And another consonant. And a consonant. And L. Good. TFI. Three great letters there. TFI. Here we go.
Yes, Jackie? Five, maybe. Oh, five, maybe. <laughs> All right, well, it's got to be five, I'm afraid. Uh, Joyce? No, I've only got four. All right, well, let me see. Testing time here. What's yeah. the four then, Joyce? Five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, not doing your cryptic crosswords now. Anyway, four is five, you see what I mean. Uh, Joyce? Jackie? Filet, F-I-L-E-T. Ah. It should be all right. Just check yeah, it's not sure. in a combination. No, that's absolutely fine, because it's also a kind of net or lace, as well as a, a meat. Yeah, no problem. What have you got, Barry? We have uh, five. Uh, title, T-I-T-L-E. <laughs> title. OK. Well, we've struggled to five, one way or the other, so yeah. title and filet has, has got the points. OK, Joyce, your turn. A consonant, please, Carol. S and another. H and another. S and another. And Q. Thank you. A vowel, please. I and another. A and another. O and another. A and a consonant. Thank you. Uh, and T. Thank you. So Joyce's selection safely in. Let the countdown begin. That's time for you, Joyce. Six. Six, Jackie? Six. Six, Jackie, six. Hostas, H-O-S-T-A-S. H-O-S-T-A-S. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hostas. Joyce. Hoists. And hoists. H-O-I-S-T-S. -S. Hoists, hostas. Hostas, fine. It's a perennial garden plant. So the plural of that's fine. Yeah. Yep. What about you, Baza? Well, we came up with hoists, six. Right. H-O-I-S-T-S. Yep. Nothing else. Nothing else. Right, so Joyce off the mark then with the six. You move on to 11, Jackie. And we look at you now, Jackie, for your choice. A consonant, please. Thank you, Jackie. R. And another one. M. And another consonant. D. And a vowel, please. E. And another vowel. I. And a consonant. T and a consonant. S and a vowel, please. A and a final vowel. And a vowel. And that's U. That's the way it is, and this is the countdown starting. Jackie? I'll try an eight. We're trying an eight. Good, Joyce. Seven. Seven then, Seven, then Joyce. Astride. Astride. Now, the risky eight. Misrated. Mm. M-I-S-R-A-T-E-D. Okay. No, Jackie, I'm not having very much luck here. It's not in, I'm afraid. No. Uh, so, relief for you, Joyce, with your word. Just remind us. Astride. Astride. That's fine. Astride. Yeah, no problem. Okay, Barry? Well, a hot from Susie's pen, indeed. Readmits. Readmits. Yeah, that sounds like an awful lot. How long is how long? Eight. Is it? That's eight. That's eight. So there was an eight. Readmits there for eight. Mm. But Joyce there has got a stride, so that um, brings her thirteen points. So thirteen and eleven. After three letters, now numbers, please, from Joyce. One from the top and five from the second, please, Karen. From this one. Okay. Four and five. Thank you. We have ladies. Four and five. One. And two, seven, and twenty-five. I haven't seen that number for a long time. 
and the target. <laughs> Typical, isn't it? <laughs> Long way to go. 983. Yes, okay. 983. Here we go. Hold on. Nine eight three, Joyce. Nine seven eight. Uh, five away. Nine seven eight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jackie, you look so appealing then. I've got to ask you to do it. Then. <laughs> I don't know if it's right. Hope so. <laughs> Seven times five is thirty-five. Plus four makes thirty-nine. Okay, plus the four. Yes, that's getting you closer. Thirty-nine times twenty-five is nine seven five. It is. And add the remaining two and one to make nine right, seven eight. I haven't used those. So two and one. Yes, nine seven eight. Yeah. Okay. Well, five away. So seven points. Joyce. Same. You can read it. Yeah, certainly can read. <laughs> Goodness gracious, very neat. Certainly, why would that? So I can't. That's excellent. Certainly good. So seven points for you. Well, can you beat these two ladies, Carol? Uh, yes, you can say four times 25 is 100. Subtract the one, that gives you 99. Multiply that, 99 by the 10 to give you 990 and take away the 7, and that's 983. Oh. I forgot to say I made the 10 by saying 2 times 5 is 10. <laughs> Just so yeah. I'm graced with it. Okay, so there we are, 983. Well done with those uh, low figures. So that's a good achievement there. Right, well, very close here, as you would expect. 18 and 20 is the score for our two uh, finalists here in this final of this group. And uh, they'll take a breather. And we'll hand you over to Mr. Barry Cryer. It's so relaxing, this programme. I've been just back on home territory, back in Yorkshire. I was listening to the radio the other week, and uh, there was a club secretary being interviewed. I can't remember where it was in Yorkshire, and the interviewer said, why don't you allow women snooker players in your club? He said, same reason I don't like women priests, badfoot cloth, which I thought reminded me of home. <laughs> <laughs> the other one I heard was about a party of uh, Yorkshire tourists being shown over HMS Victory, um, and the guide had shown them the decks and the cabins and the cannons and everything, and he came, brought them back on deck, showed them the brass plaque where Nelson fell, and where he said, this is where Nelson allegedly said, kiss me hardy. And that was the end of the tour, and he said, any questions? And this Yorkshire fellow at the back said, yeah, how did Hardy die? <laughs> <laughs> music, sheer music. Back to you, Richard. Thank you. I've got to follow that. Who knows how hard he died? <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, we'll uh, see uh, what we do know. Uh, he's gonna, someone's going to win this in uh, what quarter of an hour's time, so make sure you're right with us. We'll see you in part two. Thank you so much. Break in the Arctic. The polar bear rises, ready to start his day, with his diet of fish, fish, and oh, something called Quaker Hot Oat Crunch. How extraordinary! It contains delicious apple and raisins, is ready in just 45 seconds, and has all the crunchy taste of a coal cereal. Only it's hot. Oh! New Quaker Hot Oat Crunch. All the taste of a coal cereal. Only it's hot. This Christmas, everyone's using their Comet Price Index finger. No wonder. The Comet Price Index is your exclusive guide to the lowest prices around. Look out for it in Saturday's papers every week. 
And look out for this, too. The Comet Christmas catalogue, packed with gift ideas. There, what more could you ask for, Santa? Better come to Comet. Have you ever had this experience? Your hair colour just doesn't last long enough? It can start to fade, especially outdoors. But I've discovered Fade Resistant Recital by L'Oreal. Because Recital is fade resistant, the colour stays truer. It won't turn brassy and it stays rich from roots to ends. You'll see. It resists fading shampoo after shampoo, week after week. So keep your colour truer, longer. Fade Resistant Recital, a new standard in colour by L'Oreal. After all, we're worth it. From Toys R Us this Christmas, it's Connect. Toys R Us stores nationwide. We've only just begun. Woolworths presents the unique sound of Richard and Karen Carpenter. White lace and promises. Only yesterday. Their 20 greatest hits, now together on one remarkable collection. Just like me. The Carpenters, their greatest hits. Out now at all Woolworth stores. You. OK, Countdowners, welcome back, welcome back. A very close game here in progress. Uh, Jackie McLeod on 18, Joyce Cansfield on 20. This is the final, of course, of uh, this group. And uh, we're looking forward to an exciting result. So let's now get underway with you, Joyce, choosing some letters. A consonant, please, Carol. Of course you may be. And another. S. And another. And J. And another. Y. A vowel, please. E. And another. I. And another. E. And a consonant. C. And another consonant. And please. a consonant, thank you. And R. Thank you. The countdown starts now. So, Joyce, how many? Uh, safe six. Right, probably toying with the seven, but safe six is settled upon. Jackie? Six. Six. Yours, Joyce? Scribe. Scribe. And yours, Jackie? Scribe. Scribe. What were you playing with? E scribe. <laughs> well, I did look that one up actually. Escritoire is in there, but a scribe isn't, so. <laughs> well done to stick with the safe six. Scribe yes. Fine, yeah. Good, okay. So, scribe is in. Both get scribe. Excellent. Barry? Uh, you'll be amazed to discover that we came up with scribe. <laughs> no. What a coincidence. Great minds, great minds. <laughs> so 24 and 26, the score goes up there, and we now go to you, Jackie. Um, I'll start with a vowel this time, please. Thank you. A. And a consonant. T. And another vowel. I. Vowel. E. Consonant, please. P. And another consonant. <coughs> Excuse me. N. And another consonant. Y. Vowel, please. E. And a final consonant. And G. Thank you, Jackie. The countdown starts now.
Yes, Jackie? I'll try seven. You're trying a seven. What are you trying, Joyce? Six. Uh, well, about here, the six, please. Typing. A typing, yeah. yes, typing. You see typing there now. You're trying seven. Pintage. P-I-N-T-A-G-E. Gosh, very much doubt it, I have to say. Yes, it's not in there. So typing uh, is in, actually. So that gets what well, gets the prize, as they say. Typing yeah. is in. Uh, Barry? Um, we could offer up, but is it, uh, is it allowable? Egyptian. Mm, it would have been wonderful, but it's not allowable. It's capitalised in the dictionary, so we can't have it. Whose side are you on? <laughs> <laughs> the dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Egyptian, of course, but uh, as we said, no. no capital letters here for some reason. Uh, 24 and 32 now, so uh, tightly get knit game. Lowish scores, I have to say, but it's, it's very tight, isn't it? Uh, letters now from you, Joyce. Four consonants, please, Carol. Four? Four. Right, OK. <laughs> Bulk ordering here. Yeah. Don't get a discount. You know. S is the first one, followed by M, R, and N. Uh, vowel, please. I. And another. E. And another. U. Uh, and another. Another vowel. A and a consonant and R. Well done. Here we go. Four consonants, uh, five consonants, and the rest of vowels. Here we go. Jackie's. Mariners. What's yours? Mariners. Mariners. Did you see that, Barry? <laughs> <laughs> Mariners, yes. <laughs> the fleet's in town. <laughs> Mariners. There is also, just say one word, an aneurysm, which is the um, inflammation of an artery, can be spelt with an I as well as a Y, so that would be there too. Good. Aneurysm as well, but Mariners yeah. here is uh, what we've got, so that's a very nice eight letter one. So yes, the scores do go up considerably there, so we have 32 now and 40. Uh, two rounds to go, ladies. Uh, Jackie, it's your numbers, please. Um, I'll have one, two, one, two again, please. One Carol. from the top, and then two, one, and two. Thank you. Right. Six and two, eight and ten, nine and fifty. And the target, will it be as high? Yeah, <laughs> almost. 901. Mm, right. Okay, 901. Let's go for that, starting now. Jackie? 902. 902. Now mm -hmm. then, Joyce, what have you got? 901. Right. OK, let's hear 901. <laughs> Fingers crossed she says it. 901. 10 plus 8 is 18. Yeah. That's the way to make the 18, yes. Times 50 is 900. Yes. 9 minus 2 minus 6 is 1. It is indeed. And add it on. And add it on. Oh, what am I doing? 1, yes. <laughs> 901, yes. Well done. A very crucial 10 points. <laughs> Was that the key? Why was that the key, the eight, how to make well, the 18? Well, that was the key, because if you'd said, which is the kind of more obvious way of going, is two fifties or a hundred times nine, you then you can't, can't make them. one from what you've got left. Yeah. So I don't know whether that was what yeah. Jackie was doing. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Well, bad luck, Jackie. And it's got you out of the woods, is that, Joyce? Mm. So you're now unassailable, so let's see how, how you can push that score. So as we go into the conundrum, if you're both ready, please now reveal today's countdown conundrum. No, oh, and Jackie says... Contoured. Contoured. Let's have a look at contoured. 
And it is. There you go. Uh, yes, it was uh, two seconds there, Jackie, and a very good ten points for you. So it's a good job you got that numbers game choice because they're with 50 points. And into our grand final for our Supreme Championship in December goes Joyce Gansfield. So it's farewell time for you, Jackie. It's always sad. Mm. nice to see people to come, and then, of course, they have to go again. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed your Very two much. or three Thank you. games mm -hmm. with us. And it's good to see you looking so cheerful and happy again. So well done. And uh, we've got this nice little uh, trophy, which we hope mm -hmm. will adorn your mantelpiece in Highgate for many years to come. Thanks very much indeed. Thank and goodbye you. to Jackie McLeod. Well, tomorrow, uh, on we go. We've got more of these champions to come. We've got over 60, of course, of our great uh, champions and runners-up in, in this series. And more uh, tomorrow, these two chaps. David Trace will be coming. That's David. Haven't seen him for a year Hello. or two. And Russell Byers, and that's Russell. We haven't seen him since uh, 1983. So that's Russell uh, Byers and David Trace. So looking forward to seeing them tomorrow. Indeed, uh, from you, Barry, for now. Good night to you, Richard. May your tie get better. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. I knew he'd start. He's only been here three days and he's started already. Thank you, Barry. Thank you, Susie and Carol. Thank you. I love your tie. Thank you. You can wear it tomorrow if you want. I don't love it that much. <laughs> It'd probably be a bit too tight for you, I should think, in your state. <laughs> uh, that's it. We'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. The Countdown Quiz Book and the Countdown Puzzle Mountain Book are both on sale at the moment in the shops, priced at £6.99 each. Coming up next this afternoon on 4, Ricky Lake meets the children who want their own children. That's next.